Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Accounting for Cash and Credit Card Sales. What is this? A sale in which the customer pays for the total amount of the sale at the time of the transaction is called a cash sale. Credit card and debit card sales are treated as cash sales in the U.S. because the business receives its cash in a very short time. That is not true in some countries, but here in the U.S. it is. So we consider them as cash. A specialized computer user to collect, store, and report all the information about a sales transaction is called a POS terminal or point of sale terminal. The report that summarizes the cash and credit card sales of a point of sale terminal is called a terminal summary. So, how does it work? Terminal summary for these three green products ink. Date, a uh, code, date, time, visa, sales, sales tax, total, MasterCard, debit cards, cash, and totals. We will record only the total. We don't need to record all of the transactions. So we record it at the end of the day, usually. How do we process it? Sales information for a credit card sale is stored in the POS terminals. A report of credit card sales produced by a point of sale terminal is called a batch report. A batch report can be detailed showing every credit card sale or can be a summary showing only the number and total of sales by credit card type. The process of preparing a batch report from a point of sale terminal is called batching out. So here, uh, almost the same. So here we have the totals, how many sales, that is the count that we don't have in the terminal summary, or here we have these totals, here and then the batch report, we have the totals here, and then sales returns, that we also have it, and these sales here, they are the sales here. So this is how we usually work. Okay? So, how do we record them? We work with cash receipts journal, and a cash receipts journal is a special journal used to record only cash receipt transaction. And a cash discount on a sale taken by the customer is called a sales discount. So we will be going through this one in our Excel file. How does we calculate the cash receipt on account with sales discounts? And then, what is sales discount? Sales discount is we, uh, sell, we sell it, and then when we receive it, we give a sales discount. So here, sales invoice times sales discount rate is equal to sales discount. For instance, 1,450 times 2% 2 is equal to 29. And then usually we have this one on the invoice. 2 slash 10 and slash 30. 2 10 means if you pay this amount of money in 10 days, I give you 2% discount. So I give you $29. Or if you don't pay it, your due date is in 30 days, starting on the day of your purchase, of my sales. So for instance, if we are doing these sales on September 1st, until September 10th, you can pay it or I will receive it with a 2% discount. Or your due date is on September 30th. Okay, and let's go to our Excel file. And guys, remember, all our Excel files, they are free and the link to download them is in our video description. And by the way, subscribe to our cha uh, channel, 
share it with your colleagues and so on. So we have here three sales. Cash and credit card sales, 7,200 plus sales tax, 468. Total, 7,668. So let's do it here. We have no... Okay, our borders. So here, what do we have? And here the terminal summary 35. Let's do it together. Cash, document number T 35, terminal 35. How much we will receive? How much we will collect the total? And the credit is sales revenue. That is 7,200. And sales tax payable. And sales tax payable is a liability. Why it is not an expense? First of all, because it is, it is a credit. So our expenses, they are debit because they decrease equity and equity is a normal, co uh, normal credit account. And here, we are only collecting the money to the state. It is not ours. We are only collect this money. So, it is a liability. We are collecting it and we will pay to the state later. But, how do we add them on cash receipts journal? It is this first one here. So, let's delete it. And let's do it together. Date. May 4th, nothing here on account title, doc number T35, general, no general cash receipts here, sales credit, no accounts receivable because it is a cash sales, so sales, how much, 7200 sales tax, Sales tax payable, 468. No discount, cash debit, our cash here. And then here, accounts receivable. We have no accounts receivable here. So, okay. The second one, cash receipts on account. Received cash on account from Edmonds, total 3,412. It is this one and that one is easy so it is May 6 our debit cash we are receiving this money uh, receipt 610 how much 3412 credit accounts receivable 3412 now, how do we do that on cash journal? Let's delete it. So, the date. May 6th. What is the name of our client here? Edmonds Hospital. Receipt 610. Accounts receivable. It is what we are receiving here. 3,412, no sales tax, because the sales tax is when we sold it, uh, and here, no sales and no sales tax, it is in the past, no discount either, cash, 3,412, and here on accounts payable, Edmonds Hospital, Let's assume that the beginning balance is 10,529 here. May 9th, post ref CR is not credit, it is cash receipts. How much on credit? We will reduce it. Accounts receivable 3,412. And we also need to change our accounts receivable journal. 
or our general journal for the accounts receivable. The date, 9th, 5th, item, Edmonds Hospital, how much? 3,412. And now our balance, beginning balance, 18,560, now 15,148. Now the last one. Whoa, received cash, 2,597. Uh, and the sale, sales invoice was number 462, 2,650, and a sales discount, 2% sales discount. So what is our journal entry here? Cash. Received 611, sales discount, and accounts receivable. How much cash we received? 2,597. Sales discount, it is an expense, 653. Accounts receivable, 2,650. How do we record it in our cash receipts journal? So let's go here. Date. Let's do it together. Guys, if it is too fast, pause the video, come back, and so on. What is the name of our customer here? Palmer Dentistry. Receipt 611. No general accounts receivable. Two thousand six hundred and fifty. No sales credit. No sales tax. Sales discount. Debit. How much? Fifty three. And then the cash debit. It is accounts receivable less sales discount or only two thousand. 597. We also had a journal for this other customer. We are not posting it. And then on our accounts receivable, Palmer Density, and then the credit of our accounts receivable. So we record the sales discount only on cash receipts journal, not on the accounts receivable uh, journal because the accounts receivable we don't consider the sales discount. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.